Hello, this is David Nutt. I'm Chair of Drug Science. And I want to welcome you to our Ask David Anything series of questions. Jody says, do you subscribe to the idea that the war on drugs was initially a race-motivated movement as a way of keeping non-white people from achieving? Um, actually, I, I think there's some truth in that. I don't think the war on drugs was actually driven in by race, to be frank with you. I think it turned out to be a very useful card to play in the war on drugs. I think the original war on drugs was uh, something that was derived to, essentially, to give the Drug Enforcement Agency something to do after alcohol prohibition threatened to wipe away their uh, their justification for existence. And the war on cannabis, which was the, really the beginning of the war on drugs, was about empowering and getting the US government to keep going the anti-prohibition team that uh, Harry Anslinger had developed. But there was no question, very soon... The race card was played initially relating to Mexicans, uh, and subsequently, of course, it's been played in relation to, to black um, Afro-Caribbean uh, people in the States. So I don't think race has been the initial motivation, but it's been very helpful in keeping people scared about drugs by playing on the fear that many white people have of non-whites. If you like my answer, please leave a review and a rating on your podcast app. For tickets for our live podcast on psychedelics on the evening of the 13th of November in London, go to the drugscience.org.uk website. You'll also find a lot of very useful information there. And of course, you can tweet me at ProfDavidNutt or hashtag AskDavidAnything to get your questions answered.